Hi, this is Manna Jagya. This is lecture two of capsule literature series. So the first question again that I would discuss with you uh, from the Emmet Set twenty twenty one paper is what is the literal meaning of the term hemorrhagia? So the term hemorrhagia has actually come down from the word archery, which means to miss the mark, and in the terms of Aristotle. in his poetics he wrote that hemorrhagia means tragic flaw the character flaw and the most common hemorrhagia of the greek heroes was hubris h u b r i s hubris which means excessive pride or inordinate pride so remember the word hemorrhagia which came down from archery means miss the mark and the most common hemorrhagia of the greek heroes was hubris which means excessive pride or inordinate pride now this term hemorrhagia was used by first by aristotle in his work poetics and he said that hemorrhagia means tragic flaw or miscalculation like macbeth had miscalculation and he murdered king duncan so uh, the the term hemorrhagia according to aristotle means tragic flaw miscal calculation or error of judgment the next question that was found in mh set 2021 was the journal of richard steel that just succeeded the tatler was so the journal of richard steel that just succeeded the tatler was the spectator first let me talk about the tatler then i'll give you a detailed examination of the spectator magazine now first of all about the tatler the tatler was also founded by richard steel and it came three times a week and it run from the year 1709 to 1711 and in the same year 1711 spectator was started so first of all let us talk about tatler by steel 1709 to 1711 it came three times a week tuesdays thursdays and saturdays and to tattle means to talk it was meant for women actually this magazine tatler and also it was written under the pseudonym isaac biker stuff i s a a c isaac biker stuff b i c k e r biker stuff s t a w f so this was initially started under the pseudonym isaac biker stuff so this is all you need to remember about tatler now let's come to spectator Spectator was founded by Joseph Edison and Richard Steele. It was started in the year seventeen eleven, first of March seventeen eleven, and it went up till seventeen twelve. Then it was later revived in seventeen fourteen without the involvement of Richard Steele. It was later revived in seventeen fourteen without the involvement of Richard Steele. now the aim of spectator is very important you need to remember this sentence the aim of the spectator was to enliven morality with wit and to temper wit with morality i repeat the aim of the spectator was to enliven morality with wit w i t wit and to temper wit with morality now this journal spectator reached an audience of thousands of people every day so this is the information that you need to remember about tatler and spectator very important journals now there were a few options in this question also that i would like to discuss with you the first uh, option is female spectator remember female spectator was founded by eliza haywood and after afra ben Eliza Haywood was very famous as a woman uh, editor, woman writer, woman author. So, Female Spectator by Eliza Haywood. Female Spectator was basically the first periodical written by women for women. First periodical written by women for women, and it was loosely modeled on the Spectator by Edison and Steele. There is one more. option in the question female tatler now female tatler was uh, written by mrs crackenthop mrs crackenthop this is a pseudonym not the real name the real name is not disclo disclosed c r a c 
K-E-N, Kraken Thorpe, T-H-O-R-P-E, Mrs. Kraken Thorpe, female tattler. There are a few very interesting things about female tattler. Now, if you have read the Bridgerton series or if you have seen the Bridgerton series, you will see that there is a magazine and the magazine is uh, edited and written by Lady Whistledown and she talks about all the manipulative things, all the gossips of the town in England, Lady Whistledown. Similarly, here you will see Mrs. Crackenthorpe, a lady who knows everything. So she is tattling. That is why the name of the magazine is Female Tattler. She is tattling about the gossips happening all around her. So remember, Female Tattler, Mrs. Crackenthorpe, who is uh, not a real name. That is not a real name. It is a fictitious name, pseudonym. And Female Spectator was by Eliza Haywood. Tatler, Richard Steele, three times a week. Spectator, Joseph Edison and Richard Steele from 1711 to 1712 and revived in 1714. I hope I have given you enough amount of information regarding these magazines. Thank you.